everyone, it's Friday evening and once again I'm staying at my aunt. It's quite late actually, I think it's gone about 10 o'clock and we're on our way to the cinema. My aunt and I really want to watch Bridget Jones' Baby and it actually came out today, so we've just booked two tickets for that and Jas really didn't want to see it, so he's going to watch The Blair Witch Project and it worked out really well because his film starts 20 minutes after ours and ours finishes 20 minutes before his, so that worked out really well. I just need to take my contact lenses out because I hate sitting in the cinema with contacts in. I find that the aircon really makes my eyes dry so I'm going to do that and excuse the state of my hair it's kind of a bit greasy I did straighten it early on in the week but it's been raining quite a lot over the past couple of days and I need to wash it in the morning because I'm off to an event tomorrow but I'm going to be late I really need to take my contacts out so I'll catch you guys in a bit much better are you looking forward to seeing your film? yep and this <laughs> <laughs> he's taking his own can of coke with him <laughs> I'm a rebel I'm a rebel <laughs> We actually weren't joking. What are you watching? The Blair, Blair Witch. Blair Witch. And we are watching Bridget Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> My face really looks super shiny, but we've just got in and it is such a good film. I highly recommend it. It was hilarious. But as you can see, we now have to finish making the bed. And what time is it, Jess? Well, quarter to two maybe. So it's just gone two o'clock and I'm so tired. We really need to go to bed because I need to be up super early tomorrow. I think it's going to be another long day. Um, what time do you think I need to get up tomorrow? Well, if you put your lamp for nine, you'll get up for ten, right? Yeah, sounds about right. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Look at the mess I make when I try and get ready. It's such a nightmare. This isn't even my house. I'm at my aunt's house, like I think I said yesterday. And also, look at the state of my hair. This is what it looks like with no product in. I've just got ready. I've done all my makeup apart from my lipstick. And I'm off to an event at the Smashbox Studio Store. I think that's what it's called. But it's an event that's been organised by 30 plus blogs. So I'm really excited to meet some other bloggers and check out the new Smashbox store. Apparently, they have a room dedicated to filming YouTube videos. How exciting is that? But I really need to go and get ready. It's almost 12 o'clock and the event is on 12 till 5 but it's a drop-in event so I'm just going to finish off getting ready and then make my way there. Finally ready and I'm on my way. I've got my chaperone with me. Hello. <laughs> he's not actually coming to the event with me but he's going off to do some shopping I think on Oxford Street. So it's good timing I think. I think it's almost one o'clock. Um, so I'll be at the event hopefully by half one. It's not very far from my aunt's house. I should be there for about half one. Thank you. So I just got out of Oxford Surf Station and I saw a girl wearing exactly the same outfit as me that I was slightly mortifying and she was looking at me like, um, it was so embarrassing, that never happened to me. I've just picked up a frappuccino from Costa and I was very specific because I don't actually make this. I wanted the popcorn cappuccino but I wanted it as a frappuccino but not over ice, I wanted it blended. So she was like, okay, is that it? And I was like, but with soy milk. And she was like, right, so they've got the frappuccino part right but I'm really hoping they've put soy milk in it. I'm now on my way to the event. I just need to get my phone out and try and find out whereabouts it is. Yeah, 
just tried on this liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Chill Zone. This is the one here. lovely vloggers and I met Hayley from London Beauty Queen. It's actually really noisy here so I don't really know if you can hear me. They tried this lipstick on me which I love but basically it was to showcase their new lipsticks which have just launched. There's 120 of them and this is actually one of their liquid lipsticks but I've just found Jess Hello, everyone. and it's gone 4.30 and we are starving. We're so hungry so we're going to go get some food first. I actually forgot what I was saying, but Jess and I have now found a restaurant for lunch. We're in a place called Marketplace. The Smashbox event was so good. Basically, they've just launched 120 new lipsticks, and we got to try them all out, which is why my hand was covered in swatches. And I think a few people were asking the staff to see what shades suit them and all the rest of it. I already knew that I didn't want any nude colours, because all I seem to wear is nude lips. Um, so I really wanted to look at the alternative colours, because they looked so cool. They had blues, greens, black, grey, and all the rest of it. I do actually own a couple of grey lipsticks but they're very dark and this one's quite cool toned and you know me and liquid lipsticks I just love them so I wanted to try this one out the lady put it on for me and Hayley was taking photos of all of us because they actually have a photography studio there and they have a filming room for YouTube videos they basically tried to recreate the same thing that they have in LA which is the Smashbox studio and actually I want to try and film a YouTube video in there because I think that would be really cool um, I spoke to the lady about doing that and I've got the contact details of the person that I need to speak to so so watch this space and fingers crossed it all works out. <laughs> Covent Garden I just walked past Kiko and saw they've got a launch party at the moment for their new noir range um, but there was just so many people in there so many balloons it was really crowded so I thought you know what I'm not going to go in but I'm going to try and find a bus to Covent Garden because I think the train is going to be horrible it's London Fashion Week at the moment so I really can't be dealing with that if you'll actually be able to see me but I've got her bedroom light on and I'm standing on her balcony because it's a little bit stuffy inside. I went on a bit of a shopping spree in Covent Garden so I went to MAC, NARS, Charlotte Tilbury, Kiko and loads of other shops. I didn't buy much but I might show you tomorrow. I'm going to end my vlog here for today because we're just going to have dinner and a few drinks. I'm not sure if it's going to be vloggable but I'll possibly see you guys tomorrow. Not too sure what we have planned but I would like to go to Shoreditch so if I do go then I'll take you along with me but good night for now. <laughs> Old Street, so I think it's only about a 10 minute walk. But first of all, we need to grab some lunch.
one is lovely. Have you? You've got two different types, right? You've got barbecue and you got... Chipotle? Chipotle ones. Chipotle? Yeah, Chipotle. They're really nice. Chipotle. Yeah. This is a bit funky. I'm not a big fan of cooked fruit, but that's alright. It's good. I can, I can eat it. So we left Dinorama. Um, it was good, but it wasn't the best for vegetarians. We were going to go to the London Design Festival, but somebody looked at the map and made us walk 15 minutes in the wrong direction. Blame her. Who does? <laughs> so now we've, we've realised what time it is, and we're not going to make it. So we really have about 40 minutes. We can't make it. <laughs> so Seriously, it says it says 18 minutes. By the way, if ever you guys bump into this man and you're looking for directions, do not ask him. <laughs> I'm not <a> reading <laughs> He's the worst. He's the worst. We've just been just, walking around. Just never. Wrong. Don't rely on technology. Don't old fashion, rely on just. Old fashioned maps are the best, trust me. He's the worst. Anyway, there's a Sunday market going on in the old Treeman Brewery. So that's where we're going to head now, I think. We've just walked around this whole square for no reason. Well, look, I see lost tourists. <laughs> So I've just got in from Shoreditch and I thought I'd really quickly show you what I got in my Smashbox goodie bag yesterday. I haven't even gone through it myself yet and I also did a little bit of shopping ooh, in MAC and in NARS. The bits that I bought aren't really that exciting. These are just repurchases. So I picked up two concealers. These are both exactly the same, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. These are the only two concealers that actually work for me and I don't really like to order online with NARS because they charge £7 for delivery which I think is ridiculous. In fact I hate paying for delivery altogether. So I just thought that while I'm in Covent Garden I'll pick up two because I always use these. Um, and also from MAC I picked up the Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. This was just a repurchase. I've worn this foundation for years and years and years. And yeah I literally just pick up the same one every single time. Lastly I'm going to go through my Smashbox goodie bag which is very exciting. So in here, oh this is exciting. So this is one of their new lipsticks and these are two liquid lipsticks. These are in the shades Okay, so I actually really can't read the name of these at all. Um, this one is in the shade Stepping Out. This one is so difficult to read. I really can't see it. So I will try it out and I'm pretty sure you'll see it popping up on the blog or on here sometime soon. And this one, I don't think there's a name. This is one of their normal lipsticks. I'm really glad that it's a matte lipstick because that is all I wear. So this is what it looks like. It's a really cool toned red. I know that it's not really picking up on camera. Um, it's just the bad lighting in this room. But this is in the shade Power On Matte. So yeah, I'm really excited to give these a go. Especially this one because you know me and my nude lipsticks. But I thought I'd come on here really quickly to end my vlog because I feel like it's going to be another long one. Excuse my lipstick, it's all kind of rubbed off. But I'm just about to go and take my makeup off cook some dinner and then do nothing for the rest of the evening but thank you for watching and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye!